Esmeralda's Journey Through the Imagination, April the 3rd, 2020. Esmeralda is a cherub. She has a plush cape, which she wears resembling a hazardous witch, floating through space, stretching across extraterrestrial zones of lucid space-time, until suddenly there is an explosion. Boom! Esmeralda feels herself disintegrating. She is faced with her shadow all of a sudden, naked. Her own hot visage stares at her, herself, the mirror stage, inhabited. How bizarre I am, says Esmeralda, without my cape. Who am I? Quite. Suddenly, a capeless, bold Esmeralda is treading celestial water, trying to keep afloat in this strange situation. I have no idea where I am, she says, nor who I am, who I have become out here in the Never Never Land. I can hardly breathe. Help! Esmeralda takes a big gulp of air and plunges beneath the surface. Not sure where she is. She finds herself swept away in a cosmic tsunami of airless debris, pollution from, from an unnamed, undiscovered secret planet. She tries to paddle through the blue slime, but can't see a thing. Blind? Suddenly, Esmeralda sees a mongoose duck, surrounded by a number of starving, unhappy bots. Loads of them! Esmeralda asks Marjorie, the mongoose duck, if she needs any help, especially in these treacherous waters. Marjorie asks Emma Esmeralda to help her herd up the kids, the bots. The bots are her kids. Esmeralda was concentrating so hard on herding up the kids that once again she lost herself. She is taken up by the storm devolved into a new molecule in the tsunami rage, rampaging existence. Oops! Esmer Esmeralda's gone! Esmeralda has disappeared! Only a stain from her wonderful cape remains. Look, that's a stain from her cape. The storm continues to shred the cosmos to bits. This is a bleak, broken, swirling landscape, but that stain from Esmeralda's cape remains present, strong somehow. Suddenly, everything is sudden in this tale. There is land. The stain containing Esmeralda's presence bursts into our hero's new person. There is hope now. Esmeralda has transubstantiated and evolved. She reappears. Esmeralda is smiling. It's been a rotten journey, but no, now no more tsunami. Green fields, joy. Esmeralda swarms herself in the scent of freshly mown grass. Mmm, how comforting, she says. I am free. The algae in this nasal gestation share Esmeralda's glee. Together we are unstoppable, a team. Mmm. Am I dreaming? wonders Esmeralda. Her thoughts and her physique merge with her surroundings. Together a landscape which dissolves Hegelian dialectic logic. That's complicated, girls and boys. That's philosophy. The point is we now have pure sense data. We have freedom. It's bliss. Hang on. A creepy ghost knocks the bliss. Who is she? Ha ha ha! cackles the ghost. But I am a kind, creepy ghost, she says. My aura holds love hearts pink. I will hold and help Esmeralda recover her cape and her identity. Are you sure, says Esmeralda, who has fallen over outside of gravity? Very slippy over here. Weird as well. Like a fluffy pink marshmallow boxing ring, complete with candy flosh. Candy floss. Bizarre. Sickly. But quite a comfort. Hi! Shrieks a pink opera singer, greeting our Esmeralda in the circus that our 
situation has become. I can see you! The quark opera singer adds vibrato to her song. I'll say, I can see you! <laughs> Where am I then? replies Esmeralda, because I can't see or find myself. Here you are, Esmeralda. Here we all are. We meditate. We simply are breathing in this vivid, nourishing moment, situated, safe and sound, always present and alive in our wonderful imagination. The end, the beginning. <laughs>